and more meat on the show today. And we're celebrating meats. And this opportunity came about based on me having to be the head judge at Red 96.7's King of the Grill competition that was concluded a couple of weeks ago. So it came down to three guys battling in the finals. Bobby K, Anwar the Juggler, and Simon the Wild One Rouse. The winner of that competition is here, and he is the wild one. Why are you the wild one, Simon? Just a, a sobri of a, a wild person in events and in, in, But you in look life. so calm, you look it so is, cool. It is, it is, it's true. There's hardly, two sides of you me. You hardly spoke, you hardly said anything since you came it's, to the There's studio. two sides of me. There's Simon, and then there's the wild one. So the wild one comes out at certain points right. that only certain people get to oh, cool. enjoy. <laughs> yeah. Which would, be like, the, which would be the party and industry. After that, like after that. Not really. The party and industry and the entertainment world. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, two, two. so it's time on the outside and then the wild one and the entertainment world. <laughs> pleasure to meet you. And it was a pleasure. Now, Simon has a little quick history that I just want to give you just before we get into what he did that blew our minds at the competition. Simon really comes from a, a, a lineage of, of food. Yeah. Uh, his mom, uh, who I know very well, every time I go into the establishment, she greets me with a lovely smile. His mom is the chief cook and bottle washer at the Cheyenne's, Ro food. At, at Cheyenne's the roti shop on mm -hmm. Drag Road. Um, and, and, and so you grew up cooking? Yeah, yeah. Kind of grew up in the kitchen? Well, mom herself was, uh, was taught by, by, by herself. Right. She just just doing her own little things and she has a gift of cooking. So she just passed it on to us. She would always teach us how to cook certain things. And I would more rely on YouTube from time to time for right. other things on the outside. But right. when it comes to the local dishes, head straight to mom. Yeah. How am I doing this? And she would teach me. But your love for cooking really came from her. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Simon kind of blew the, blew, the, blew, blew the guys out of the park. It was a grill competition. And he did some grilled chicken um, that was real nice, good, nice grill marks and Real good, but what really blew my mind, it was about the dish. And he kind of put a Sunday lunch on the table, but he did a salsa that really just kind of tied the dish together. It went so well with the meat. So that salsa, you're going to make for us now to show us. Yes, yes, yes. I want to get the recipe for that salsa. So, I'll make sure. <laughs> so show, us, show, us, show us first, Simon, how that salsa came together. Well, basically, he's my, uh, my dad, yeah. uh, Hector. He, 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 we had a little Sunday lunch thing that we always do every week. And right. he just said, you know what, I want to do something this week to add to the, to the Sunday lunch. Right. And he just did this in front of us. And then after that, you know, we picked up on it and he was like, well, this, go this is a bang. Lunch? Yeah, yeah, this is a bang. <laughs> so from then, from then on, that basically would be joining in with us now. Right. That was his cool, speciality cool. from a long time. From so his mango? Mango, mango is Yeah, it's here. mango. So mango. Half-right mango, starch. So I could Preferably get starch. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Throw it in. Mm -hmm. Well, you can make it. I can make it. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead. Right. I'll just tell you. Mango. Um, you put in all the other ingredients. The cucumbers. Cucumbers. And tomatoes after. Right, tomatoes. And then you just give that a little mix up so they're all in between. Nice. So this is the famous. Right. You just add a pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. And a pinch of black pepper as well. And you add your This is the, this is the right, so, here. So right. So this. Yeah, that's garlic. Garlic. Shadow benny and hot pepper. Right. Usual for making chow as well. And then, a little, and then you just squeeze in a little lime on a top of it. A little lime there. To freshen it up and that's it perfect, perfect. you got it you, you got serious. it this is something you're going to be doing every sunday now you serious <laughs> right and you just give that a quick mix up simon it can't just be that i'm telling you, you leave very out, very easy leave out secret ingredients no here. it's very very easy very very easy it's very easy so i suppose guys i think with, with, with things like this salsas and, and things like that the longer it sits that's it that's the it better it gets it All it's not something you really enjoy at, at, yeah, at one yeah. time This is a little chow feel. That's then the idea. That's the feel. idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But leaving it over a period of time as well, just it's, it's let it marinate. So that was this. But then his grilled chicken, um, he made a kind of special sauce. So tell us about the sauce and tell us about the chicken and put it on the grill, please. Well, it's something that our mom taught us how to make. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the normal barbecue sauce, but it's an addition to our little thing with bear. Yeah, we add bear to it. We add cinnamon and also bay leaf. Serious. And we let it sit for a while. And every so often, every let's, let's say every four hours yeah. while it sits because we do it and we actually use it after 24 hours mm. yeah yeah i know i know <laughs> as the same way i felt <laughs> all right so let me so try it up on the grill 
So Simon, tell me the technique of this girl, the girl and the chicken here now. On the grill. Well, you're just leaving it on the grill for a little while. Right, so that the, the, the sauce from it, because we leave it in the foil just for a little bit to simmer. And the oil and the fat that comes off of the chicken creates that nice, flavorful sauce. Natural sauce from the chicken, yeah, the chicken that we yeah. also use and we pour it back into the barbecue sauce. Then when we do that, we just flip it. My, the pit master who was on the show a little while ago, mm -hmm. Roger, he said, you know, to smoke and barbecue, you know, there, there has to be a little love and to grill. To stand up behind a hot grill is easy, you know. True. But when you love what you're doing, you love cooking and you love the end result of yeah, food. Yeah, you wait for the end result. That's all you're waiting for, the end result. Yeah, yeah. So we don't want how much hours you enjoyable. Yeah, it's enjoyable. It's enjoyable. It's an enjoyable thing. Sometimes picking at it as well. Do you know what I forget? I forgot to talk about Simon, which, as I said, so when Simon presented this plate at the competition, mm -hmm. he surprised me. This looked, if you're coming close here, guys. So I thought it was a cider planting. The man served, uh, said, of course, you know, planting. But it wasn't planting. It was, it was pork, pork belly. <laughs> That he also threw on the grill. Yes. And was very, very good. Mm-hmm. 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 I want to congratulate Simon. He's the king of the grill at Red 96. Mm. It was a pleasure being there. I want to thank the folks at Red 96 for making it possible and inviting me to be the judge. Simon, thank you very much. Thanks to all the guys. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy. I'm going to finish up in the grill, Simon, and then we go down. Thank you for having me. Yeah.